Relatives of Linwood Lambert Jr. say they only recently saw the video of what happened. Video which shows police using tasers on him multiple times the night he died in police custody in 2013. I would suggest and argue that every single time they tased him was inappropriate. Late that night, officers responded to noise complaints at a motel in South Boston, Virginia, where they found Lambert. In court documents, police describe him as acting strangely. Officers put him in the back of a patrol car and explained to him that he's not being locked up. We're going to take you to the emergency room and we're going to get you... Make sure you're good to go. Outside the hospital, Lambert becomes agitated. No, no, can't get wind. Can't get wind. Police say he broke out the back window. Later in the video, he sprints from the car to the hospital where police corner him and use their tasers. The video shows officers struggling with Lambert. It's not clear exactly how many times they use their tasers. And he's in handcuffs. And they tase him one time. And he's on the ground. It's over. It's done. There's no reason to subject this gentleman to further punishment, to further tasing, to put his life at risk. Instead of taking Lambert inside the hospital, officers put him back in the patrol car where a taser is used again. By the time officers get to the police station, Lambert is unresponsive. An autopsy report cited the cause of death as acute cocaine intoxication. Lambert's family has filed a $25 million lawsuit accusing police of using excessive force and violating his civil rights. Lawyers representing the officers say they did nothing wrong and that their actions did not cause Lambert's death. I'm Andrew Spencer reporting.